everyone, I'm Rod Wortham and welcome to this episode of Race Face Driver Updates. We've got several drivers that saw action over the weekend, so let's get right to it. Anthony Alfredo was at Charlotte Motor Speedway for the longest race of his career, the Coca-Cola 600. He qualified 29th, ran in the top 20 for most of the day, and even led a few laps as the Front Row Motorsports team played out their race strategy. Let's check in with Anthony for a post-race recap. Man, I'm so bummed, everyone. We ran top 20 all day. My crew chief, Seth Barber, called for an excellent strategy that uh, worked out for us in stage two. We were still on the lead lap at halfway. Uh, we're racing for uh, 19th, I believe, and on our final pit stop, I sped entering pit road. So, so frustrating. I hate that for all my guys at Front Row Motorsports because everyone did an excellent job all day. We had such a clean race going. Uh, doing everything right up until then. So uh, ended up P25, I believe. So top 25, but just to be that close to a top 20 is disappointing. So I got to uh, do some homework, study what I could do better to prevent that moving forward. But first Coca-Cola 600 in the books, just unbelievable experience. So many fans here, so great. All the servicemen and women. This race is so much more just than just about racing. Just a true incredible celebration of Memorial Day and those who uh, serve uh, our country and pay the ultimate sacrifice for our freedom. So thank you all for the support. Hope you enjoy the race and uh, we'll head out to Sonoma Raceway next week. Up next for Anthony, road course at Sonoma Raceway this Sunday. Sheldon Creed was also at Charlotte Motor Speedway for the North Carolina Education Lottery 200. Sheldon was fourth in Friday's practice in his newly sponsored Lift Kits for Less Silverado, but qualifying was rained out and Sheldon would roll off second for the start. He took the lead on lap one and led the entire first stage, earning him his first stage win of the year. Unfortunately, he was involved in an incident on lap 56 that broke the front left spindle ending his day. Sheldon still sets fourth in points, heading to Texas Motor Speedway on June 12th. Connor Mozak was at Lime Park for the Memorial Day Classic Trans Am Series presented by Pirelli in his number 28 team, SLR Camaro. Connor qualified third and brought home a top five finish in fourth. Up next for Connor, Super Late Models at Five Flag Speedway this Friday with Jeff Fultz Racing. Gavin Graham was at Chris Motorsports Park in his number 38 Kurt Britt Motorsports Pro Truck where he turned in a dominating performance, winning his heat race, leading every lap, then led every lap of the feature race, parking it in victory lane for the seventh time this year in only 12 starts. Up next for Gavin, Thursday Night Thunder, back in the legend car at Atlanta Motor Speedway tomorrow night. Carter Whalen was at Music City QMA in Nashville, Tennessee, for round four of the Dixie Shootout, competing in three different classes. In heavy Honda, Carter won his heat race and finished third in the A main. In heavy 160, he finished third in his heat race, even after suffering damage in the early laps. In the A main, he was running second before spinning out. He then raced his way back towards the front, got hit by another competitor, and rolled his car on the back stretch. Quick work in the pits got him back in the race, but then he suffered another setback when he got wheel hop, causing the chain to come off, ending his race, and was scored in the 10th position. Wow, what a race. On to Heavy World Formula, where he finished fourth in his heat race and backed that up with a fourth in the A main. Up next for Carter, Metro Atlanta QMA on June 5th. Landon Cox was also at Nashville QMA for the Dixie Shootout, where he won his heat race in the Blue Rookie by leading every lap. He started second in the A main, but was involved in a lap one incident and suffered major damage that would end his day. Up next for Landon, Metro QMA on Saturday, June 5th. Both Cassidy Hines and Caden Honeycutt were scheduled to race, but were unfortunately rained out. Other drivers seeing action this weekend include Jesse Love, who will be at Sonoma Raceway for the Arkham Menards Series West on Saturday, June 5th. 
Joey East will make his road course racing debut at Sonoma Raceway in the ARCA Series West event on Saturday. Caden Honeycutt will return to the Cars Tour Series at Langley Speedway on Saturday. Joe Valento will also compete at Langley Speedway in the Cars Tour. And Bryce Bazanson returns to the Northwest Super Late Model Series at South Sound Speedway on Saturday. And a late addition, Grant Thompson will be at Mobile International Speedway in a Kurt Britt Motorsports Pro Late Model on Saturday. That's it for this week's Race Face Driver Updates. And remember, if you've missed any of our shows, you can get caught up at raceface.tv on demand. Don't forget to follow us on social media. Make sure to check out Speed Zone Race Store for the latest in apparel. As always, we encourage you to support local racing in your communities. We'll be back next week with more from your favorite Race Face drivers. So go out there, have a great race week, I'm Rod Wortham. Thanks for watching.